right, taking a look outdoors tonight, we definitely have some clouds on their way in, but by and large, we're fairly quiet. We've enjoyed temperatures well above average in the 40s, but here's what you need to know for your holiday travel forecast. As we head through the evening, the temperatures will remain mild, but the wind will make it feel a little wild. It's a little breezy out there, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and wind chills will be a factor this evening, so bundle up. Tomorrow, if you have travel plans ahead of the Thanksgiving Day holiday, there will be some area of mixed precipitation, freezing drizzle. We'll have some light flakes of snow and some frost on the roads, so as long as you're careful, it shouldn't be too problematic here in the valley and in the Dakotas. But after Thanksgiving, things change, especially surrounding us south and southeast with some more wintry condition for us. Some colder air blows in with some light flakes of snow. Right now, 32 Langdon and Roseau, 36 for Crookston and for Grand Forks with temperatures still holding on to 40 mild degrees here and upper 30s as well for Lakes, Lakes Country rather and it's 35 in Bemidji. Here is a look at your current conditions at Hector International Airport. We have 40 degrees, the wind 9 miles per hour. Right now out in Moorhead, 37 on the thermometer. A few peaks between the clouds out there in Grand Forks under partly cloudy skies and east wind at 10 miles per hour blows tonight. That makes it feel like 28. Again, bundling up is a good idea. Looking across the region, the Southern Valley, central portions of Minnesota, clear skies, clouds moving in, and if you notice, just a very faint amount of precipitation out west, well, that is a chance of some light snow and some freezing drizzle with these milder temperatures near the ground. Here's the main storm system right now, but a couple of things are taking place. One uh, batch of energy from this storm is here in the central Rockies. Another will be moving up through Saskatchewan. And Manitoba, as we go through the night, kind of splitting around the Dakotas. So any travel out to the west, winter storm warning out in the mountains of Montana, winter weather advisories here, blizzard warnings down in parts of southern Wyoming if your travels take you there. But if your travels keep you closer, here's your hour-by-hour -hour forecast this evening. South winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour as temperatures very slowly fall into the upper 30s and mid-30s here in the Southern Valley. So it'll have a cool feel to it out at the parade tonight, but still a great night to get out and see. Notice the splotchy areas of light precipitation overnight, mainly to the west. So northeast North Dakota, northwest Minnesota, straight down towards Bismarck. And between here and there, we could have some areas of freezing drizzle, some sleet, and even some flakes of snow. So please be careful along Highway 2 and out towards uh, the James River Valley in the central Dakotas. Slippery road conditions across the region, but another mild day temperature-wise early. But look at the wind shift. It becomes northerly. Cold air tugs down. It will be windy at times, and we'll have hit and miss chances of precipitation throughout the afternoon. By the evening, we'll start to see some clearing. With one flank of this storm heading through Canada, the other one will really focus its energy in the Rocky Mountains blossoming with snow out there. So here in the valley, not too bad for your planner tomorrow. Can't rule out some mixed precipitation, very light, but still would be slippery, 30 degrees to start your day. 35 with chances of any precipitation decreasing as the day goes on and in the mid 30s tomorrow, but falling temperatures behind these very gusty and cold northwest winds. Elsewhere, afternoon temperatures on your way home from work on your Wednesday will be in the 20s up north. Spotty areas of slippery road conditions out west especially and we'll see temperatures in the mid-30s to possibly as warm as 40 late. Now, taking a look at your planning forecast, some more frost is definitely in the forecast. We have temperatures that will be mighty chilly on our Thanksgiving day. And then as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a nice rebound after a chilly start to your mornings, both Friday and Saturday, in the single digits for many locations. The 30s and even a chance at 40 degrees for some of us closing out the weekend next week. A chance for another weather making system. This one looks to be missing us to the south. So, the good news, Stephanie, is we are not right in the middle of the storm track right, right here. Okay. Many of these storms passing us to the north or south, but okay. everybody likes to travel. Yes. So, do so with caution. Be careful out there. Yes. All right, thanks, Hutch. Mm -hmm.